Hi, I'm Jerome from Fastlane. Welcome to this series on the Cisco Unify Wireless Networking Solution. This is the fifth video about EAP TLS, EAP PEEP with the ACS and controller configuration. In the previous video, we configured our client for EAP TLS, and in the previous one, we configured the ACS on EAP TLS. In this video, we're going to try to configure PEEP on the client, which is pretty easy. We have an ACS running. And on the ACS, we have an authentication mechanism that allows us to use PEEP as the authentication uh, mechanism. So PEEP is allowed here. So the only thing I really need to do on this, um, on this ACS is to create a user. Let me call it um, PEEP user. Simple password, Cisco Cisco. So you may have the uh, ACS linked to the uh, Windows uh, Active Directory, in which case you would create a user on the Active Directory. Here it's an internal uh, database for the ACS. In the third video, we configured this uh, ACS for certificates, so we do send certificates from this user, so that's a step which is configured already. So the only thing I need to do here is uh, check first my WLAN. I'm going to use the uh, PEEP WLAN, and to make it simple, I'm just going to do a basic .1x authentication, that is to say I don't even care about WPA, WPA2 encryption, I'm just doing web encryption and once again the uh, controller doesn't care about which flavor of EP you're using. So if I say apply here, I have one WLAN which is TLS, which is the one we demonstrated in the previous video, which is using EAP TLS and this one is uh, using EAP PEEP, but you know it's just a convention, a naming convention, because from the security perspective these two are exactly the same from the controller standpoint. So both uh, use .1x and my controller knows about the ACS box IP address, so it doesn't really care about which sub flavor I'm doing. But of course the client cares, so I'm going back to my client and I'm going to do a new profile which is going to be PEEP. So I add a new profile, call it PEEP. I'm using open authentication, that's 802.11 open, although I'm doing .1x and PEEP. EAP is occurring at the association step, not at the authentication step. So from the 802.11 standpoint, the authentication is open. Encryption is web, dynamic key. And if I go to authentication, I'm using a .1x method, but I'm using PEEP methods and no thank you I don't want to be a computer and if I click properties I want to validate server certificates and as I already downloaded the certification authority uh, signature or keychain in the previous video I'm gonna say that I'm trusting this October certification authority and I'm using here MSChap v2 as the inner method into PEEP and I don't want to use my Windows logo name and password. I'm going to use the username and password I defined on the ACS a minute ago. OK, 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 my network is ready. After a few seconds, I am prompt to enter a username and password here. And I'm using the username I defined on the ACS. Peep user. Password Cisco. And I didn't define any domain. And click OK. And of course, after a few seconds, I'm authenticated. So this is pretty, pretty easy. OK, that's it. We're connected. In next video, we're going to try to change our settings so that the authentication occurs on the controller instead of uh, sending the EAP TLS and PEEP requests outside to the ACS. We're going to do everything from the controller.